<laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, folks? What is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. Man, oh, man. So the other day, Mr. Trump goes to McDonald's and was serving hot fries and Big Macs. Now I have worked. At I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Meanwhile, Kamala goes to Detroit and have a big back. So if you ask me if America is ready for its first woman president, I only got one thing to say. It's about damn time! Big back, big back, big back, big back. Yeah, we got Lizzo out here. Lizzo is out here campaigning for Kamala. Interesting. And she's fully clothed. I wonder why Lizzo is out here and she did not do her signature move. She's fully dressed. She got her speech out here and she says this. Well, they say if Kamala wins, then the whole country will be like Detroit. Okay. Like Detroit? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. No, thank you. Please don't let America look like Detroit. Mm -mm. But she tried it. She tried it. Kamala's out here with more celebrities. Keep getting all these celebrities trying to talk her up. She also has Mr. Usher Raymond. Let me make certain that I'm talking to all my AT aliens out here. We ready. We Oh, y'all want to keep going? <laughs> Mr. Raymond, not too long ago, was on The View, and when asked about his political belief, he said he want to keep away from it. You know what? I don't get too deep into politics. I didn't get a chance to watch the debate last night. I obviously have been watching uh, like everybody else. I think voting is an individual choice, and uh -huh. I think that... You're right. You have to look at the reality of the country that we are and the country that we want to be and find the candidate that you feel both are, are uh, op who, who fits the category of where we want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that's it. And that's what you vote based off of uh, who you um, highlight and how you choose to highlight it on whatever platform you have is your prerogative. Yes. Yeah. But ever since P. Diddy got arrested, I think the feds got some tapes of Usher and P. Diddy. All of a sudden, Usher's out here campaigning for Kamala. You know, it's just 17 days away from a very important election, as we all know. And we have the opportunity to, to choose a new generation of leadership for our country. That's a bad look, Usher. If you know what happens to all these celebrities that campaign for Kamala, their careers go foo 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 foo. This is why Miss Beyonce has kept quiet. Now guys, if you remember a few weeks ago when I was on a tangent talking about Kamala's not a black American, there's some qualities of her that she have not displayed to make me believe that she's a black American. You have never seen her talk about Lord Jesus Christ. I've never seen her in church. you never seen her praising God. I don't never think she ever says, God bless America. And I don't think I ever heard that from her. These children are not going to have a Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? So the other day she's at this rally and somebody yells out, Jesus is Lord. And she says this. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you 
you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. So, to get her black cred, she goes back to Atlanta and she goes to New Birth Baptist Church over here, down the street over here, one of the worst church in Georgia, led by this fake pastor here, Mr. Bryant over here. And let's take a look what happened. Who knows but you were born for such a time as this. I wish at the end of my life, the only thing they can find wrong with me is how I laugh. <laughs> Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray a hedge fence of protection around your daughter. No hurt, harm, or danger. I pray that you'll assign 100,000 angels to cover her head. Thank you, dear Lord, that you have given her this moment to defy the odds in front of the entire world. Now, God, not for her name, but we promise we're going to give you all of the victory. Not by might, not by power, but only by your spirit. And those of you who believe that Kamala Harris was born for this moment, would you give God glory for her even in this whole bunch of hens, whole bunch of cackling hens putting hands on Kamala. This is why black man has left the church. Mr. Bryan goes on CNN and he says this about the black man. Something is wrong with brothers who don't know how to support a sister. Yeah. Full and stop. <laughs> <laughs> and Mordecai was man enough to know that in order for me to be a man, I got to know how to support a woman. Something is wrong with brothers who don't know how to support a sister. It was a sister that raised you. It was a sister that taught you how to read. It was a sister that taught you how to bathe yourself. In the context of the vice president, were yeah. you trying to send a message? Uh, yeah, uh, that um, uh, we've got to be able to both that misogyny is still real uh, in our community. Um, we've got to address it head on and act like, not act like it doesn't exist. Uh, the reality is if black men had voted, Stacey Abrams would be a governor. Uh, and so I think that we've got to do some real redress uh, that uh, after racism, the biggest ill in America is sexism. Uh, and I think it's part of the responsibility of this generation to deal with it head on. There you go, guys. There you go. Just keep insulting us. Yeah, keep shaming us. We're going to come crawling back and vote for Kamala. Keep it up. That's a great strategy. Yeah, we got Obama waving his finger at us. We got this fake pastor here waving his finger at us. We got all the black women. All these black women out here are now going on and saying no voting, no f***ing. Hello, ladies. I'm Trey. It's good to be here. What do you do and how much do you make? I work in finance, making six figures. How tall are you? Six five. Do you have a plan to vote in November? Nah, not my thing. So there you go, black man. They have reduced us to potheads and sexual deviants. If you don't vote for Kamala, you're not going to get no weed and you're not going to get no skins. That's all they think of us. Yeah, great strategy. Great strategy. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought for today. Guys, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.